Hello everybody, and today I will be showing you how to make uh, death messages inside your game. So, here's an example. So, whenever you die, at the top left, it will, in the chat bar, it will say like who died. So, what we're gonna do is just create a game real quick. And the first thing we're gonna go and do is open up server script service and add a script and we're gonna rename this script to death message and what we're gonna do is local replicated storage Replicated storage equals game colon game colon get service not children service and we're gonna do replicated storage and local died and what we're gonna do for this is go into replicated storage add in a remote event and rename this to died local died equals replicated storage colon wait for child uh, died and then we're gonna do game colon get service players dot player Actually, an easier way we could do this is probably, uh oh, it's probably game dot players dot player added colon connect function, and right here we can put player. So what this does is creates a function of a player getting added, and that player will be defined as player. And what we're gonna do is player dot character added character oh my god player dot character character added colon connect function and we are gonna call this character and what this does is defines like the player's character and then what we're gonna do is do character colon I don't know how that <laughs> I thought that would there we go character colon wait for child humanoid and make sure that's capital humanoid and we'll do dot died died colon con colon connect and we're just gonna do a function off of that so whenever the player dies um Whenever the yeah, whenever the player dies, it will run whatever is in here, and that will be remote event or not remote event died colon fire all clients player dot name, and this will fire the client for that player. And now what we're gonna do is go into replicated first, add in a local script, and what we're gonna do in here is we can go over here and copy this, paste it right here, and then right here you can put whatever you want the death text color to be. So we do text color equals brick color dot new 
And I'm just going to do red because that seems like a good death message for me. So really red. And local function died. And then we're going to have the player name. So whenever the player dies. Um, let's do local text. equals actually let's do a randomizer so what we're gonna do is what you can do is just add a inside of this local script you can add a part and just change the name to like has died and then you can do is like stub stubbed their toe or something it's like random death messages i already have some so i'm gonna put these put them in here so i'll be right back okay i have all my death messages a fly called a roblox gaming experience Cracked their knuckles too hard, did not tie their shoe, disconnected, got bitten by a kitten, got oofed, got stung by a bee, got whacked by a wild weezer, weasel, has died, inhaled peppers, stubbed their toes, swallowed a dog, tripped over a cat, was eliminated. And what we can do is text equals script colon get children. And then local random text equals this is actually something i learned recently is how you can randomize like something's children so what you can do is text do text and then you can do because text equals getting the children out of this script so you can do um you can do math dot random math dot random one out of the number of text the number of text and then we'll pick a random text and then we can do local death text equals random 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 text dot name so it just gets the name of whatever part that is and then do game dot starter gui uh, colon set core the set core chat make system message and then we don't need this we just comma space and then uh, curvy bracket and then we can bring that down a bunch and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do text or text equal, let's change this to text because this might mess us up a little bit. So change all that to text. And then this equals player name dot dot. We're just gonna do a space dot dot death, death text. And what this does is these dot dots are just like if you want to use a variable so like the player's name dot dot space and then the death text name and then what we're going to do is font equals enum dot font dot source sans bold 
because that's the normal font used in the Roblox chat. And then color equals text color dot color. And then font font size equals enum dot font size dot size and then we're gonna do 24 and then we're gonna go right down here and put the brackets right there and then we're gonna go down here and died dot on client event colon connect died so that'll run this whenever they die and I'm not sure why this isn't working let me see I'll be right back once I figure it out okay I see what I did wrong I forgot to put put these all right here make, make sure to do that and now what we're gonna do is we can test it and let's press play make sure it all works and if we go and reset our character as you can see it says offy 242 ate a fly which is one of the randomized messages and then disconnected and it will just automatically do random messages from that message bar Big. 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 Big.